Wasting time fishing around for info on how to buy the best seafood? We cast our line into the sea of knowledge and reeled in the top three things to look out for when buying fish. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that, ready for the grill. Having grown up fishing the Alaskan waters, Cedar Mulligan of Alaskan Pride Seafood knows his fish and the first thing he says to look out for is fish fraud. If there's actually people who counterfeit fish or label it wrong, how can you tell the difference? The most counterfeited fish you're going to find are typically going to be a salmon because the look between the farmed and the wild is not much. And then also the white fish is going to be like tilapia, often it's exchanged for like a rock fish, something like a red snapper. So what's something that we can do to like see if it's counterfeit or not? Look at price points. If it doesn't make sense, um, if it's too cheap, then it's probably not going to make sense. You're not going to get a Chilean sea bass for about $10 a pound. It costs right. them much, much more than that. So you can actually look and see if the whole fish, you can see what it looks like with the skin on, you compare that to what's online, does it make sense? And the biggest thing is actually just to come into a fish market and find somebody you trust. The next question, fresh or frozen? The great debate is fresh or frozen. When you see a fish just sitting on wet ice, that one is either a truly fresh fish or it is a refresh fish, which is one that was frozen and then thawed out and put on that ice. The downside of that is you actually don't know when it was thawed out. No matter what, use your non-frozen fish within four to five days. If you get a frozen fish it usually has a date label on it. You thaw it out a month, two, three months later, and it's perfect. It's wow. just like it came out of the water. And finally, should you go with wild fish or farmed fish? In my professional opinion, the wild fish typically has a better flavor to it. And Cedar says farm doesn't always have the nutrient profile that wild caught does. So how can you tell a good farmed fish versus a farmed fish that may not be that great for you? Look at the box or the package they came in. We have the Marine Stewardship Council. This blue label certifies the fishery was regulated and the fish is safe for consumers. Did we clear things up for you today? You definitely did. Now now things won't be as fishy at the market. Reeling in the 411 on fish is what's on the lowdown.